I can go outside and go tweet tweet to them birds and to them squirrels. Don't give a fuck with them birds. It's for the birds. Yeah, that's see that that subscribe button is not pressed please go ahead and subscribe we're at 225 we need to go ahead and get to 500 oh, actually yeah. we're going to go ahead and claim row to 1k row to 1000 1000 you guys are already doing a great job y'all a quarter of the way there we gonna get this 1k exactly because i'm on y'all ass how do we have 3,000 viewers but only 200 subscribers it should be equal like, you guys are already watching us. You guys already fuck with us, obviously. Just go ahead and hit the button. It's free. It literally doesn't cost you anything. You don't even have to pause this video. You can still be hearing me. Yep, 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 yep. Just click it just to shut me up. Actually, I'm not going to shut up until you say So go ahead and click it. Go ahead and press <laughs> it. Press it right now. Did you press it? I don't see it. It's not pressed. Where is that? It's not pressed. It's still not pressed. It's pressed. Ah, there you go. You pressed it. See? <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, guys. And go ahead and hit that like button while y'all at it. Oh, yeah. For sure. What's up, squabblers? What's going on? Welcome back to another week, another great week, great week for us, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, on YouTube, we are booming. I don't know what y'all oh, been yeah. doing. Y'all been sharing it, telling your grandparents, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins, your sisters, your brothers, but our last video is above 3K views. Our second video is above 1,000 views. We have over 200 subscribers. You guys are killing it. We're doing what we can to bring the content. Y'all are doing what y'all can to make sure the views stay up. So we really appreciate it. Yeah, we love the support that we've been getting from you guys. And we're just going to continue to grow from here. Facts, right. We're going to get better from here. Still continue to give us feedback on anything that you guys want to see more of. Anything that you guys want to see different, whether it be topics, backgrounds, anything. We'll take it. Doesn't necessarily mean we're going to do it, <laughs> but we'll take it. We'll take any. Any feedback for sure. So we want to go ahead and jump straight into it and say thank you. Thank you for the support so far. Keep it up. And we got more stuff coming your way. So as usual, we're going to jump straight into the poll from last week. So Eli, the poll from last week was the would you rather talk to animals or be fluent in every language? Oh, and I, my vote was being fluent in every language. And I was talk to animals. And the squabblers that voted, not every squabbler, but the squabblers that voted, Say they sixty percent say they'd rather talk to animals. Oh my gosh! Forty percent say they'd rather be free. man. These these votes are rigged. <laughs> either they're they're either rigged, or the squabblers don't have their priorities. They do have their priorities. Like, talking to animals is not as beneficial. That's more as fun. Fun. That's, oh. more, <laughs> okay. that's more fun. All you guys right. are you're just saying like oh yeah yeah like. So we talked about all those languages you could know, but really the only language you really need, Spanish, French, and a couple other languages. The other ones you don't come in, unless you leave the United States of America, you don't come in contact. But animals? Animals are everywhere you go. If you were fluent in every language, you would be you using the majority of those languages. You'd be traveling, you, getting employed. You'd rather sit right here and think, I mean, you'd rather sit right here Every week with me, knowing that you can speak every language. Yes. Go from Lawrenceville yes. to Atlanta, back to Lawrenceville, yes. back to Atlanta. 1,000%. That's it. And never use it. Yeah, Just right. the fact that you have it, you right. want to be able to have it. That's right. But, or I can go outside and go tweet tweet to them birds and to them squirrels. Yeah, yeah, don't give a fuck with them birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. I'm just saying, man. Animals are everywhere. The languages are not. Unless you leave. If you want to go on a world tour and travel the world. Then I got you. But I know I'm not leaving Georgia anytime soon, so fuck it. I'm straight. With well, it. I can go out and speak to literally anybody I want to in their language, in my language, in whoever's language I wanted to. Because why? I'd be a beast in every language. I don't know. Well, the Scobblers have voted. We have a new poll out there right now. Um, we're going to talk about the question of the week at the end of the video, as always. So... Say to Eli, I got some scenarios for you. The first one, you ready? Mm -hmm. The first one is if you are an Uber or a Lyft driver, all right, and you pull it up to somebody's house to get your next passenger, okay, and it's a young lady. She runs into your car. Young lady runs into my car. She, she slams hurry. the door shut. She's in a hurry. All right, bet. 
and she goes, drive, drive, drive. Oh, hell. And right when you are about to put the car in drive, a bunch of men come out, surround your car. Oh, shit. And bang on your door. Let her out. Let her out? What you doing? Wow, oh, shit. I'm putting my shit in drive, and I'm running some Oh, people hell over. no. I'm like, do, do. What? You're going to, you're going to, yeah. you're going to. Risk your life for a girl you don't even know. I mean, just she, met her she's obviously in danger. Or maybe she did something to them. Maybe she deserves to get her get back. What if she just kills one of their people inside there and try to run off? First of all, if she was in danger, who orders an Uber? You better run this <laughs> some shit. You know, you know, you're asking too many questions. <laughs> I just say the the initial thought was a girl is in danger and she needs to get out of there. I'm still innocent in any matter of the fact. Hey, until they come find you. In, innocent. Well, what, what's that saying? Freaking. Uh, innocent until proven guilty. Yes. Innocent until proven guilty. They so, will find you. They not have your license plate and they're going to hunt you down. Man, if I find out all that, then maybe I unlock my doors. I'm going to lock my doors, period. I'll be like. <laughs> sorry, ma'am. What? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know you. I don't know what you. Yo, you I don't know what you're gonna do. What to if me. she was getting chased and these men were harassing her and were threatening her? You're just gonna be like, not my okay. problem. I'm gonna be like, why did it go? Boom, let her in. I'm be like, man, you have ten seconds to let me know what's going on. I'm letting you out. <laughs> Are you obviously you're in danger? Did you deserve it? Did you do anything in her? No, I swear, I swear. Okay. Drive off. If it's, I mean, I only stole one million. Do do get out. <laughs> do do get out. You know what? Uh, maybe maybe the you know matter is more urgent than that. You know, maybe these men start like assaulting the vehicle. Then I can run oh, them yeah, over. Yeah. Then now, now it's like okay. Now you touching my property. <laughs> now one of y'all gotta go. You can come find me after that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Hey, that's that's All my right. thought process. There you go. So I got another one for you. Let's say. It's me and you now. We're driving in the country. No right. no real, like, street lights or anything. And then I'm driving, and I hit somebody. Hit somebody, of course. Well, not not of course. We yeah. do not condone illegal activity. Right, yeah. Don't go but, running anybody over. Yeah, in this anybody. scenario, we, just, we freak out. And we're like, we got to go. We got to go. Right? And then we drive off, and we obviously come back to Atlanta, and we... Hide out for or my house for a little bit, uh -huh. and somehow we find out that that was a mobster's son that we hit. Oh, and somehow in this scenario they found out that it was me and you in the car. Me, no, just you, <laughs> just Damn. you in the car. Just Damn. a mobster. It was, it was me and you, and you tell me the homie, you gotta go. Like you gotta run, you gotta hide out, and you were like, when you get there, don't tell anybody where you're going, just me. So I only tell you. Okay, bet. I get there, yeah. I tell you where I'm at, and then as soon as I tell you where I'm at, the next day, they come grab you up, and they have you tied up, and they say, every hour, uh -huh. we're going to cut off a digit of your fingers until you tell us where he's at. Oh, How shit. long are you lasting? I'll give you one hand. One hand? One hand. Okay, okay, that's... Yeah, that's as much as you can get from Does me. it change if they say we're going to pull a fingernail every hour? Does that change, or are you still going to give me one hand? I mean... I don't know how much that shit hurts. <laughs> to be honest, I yeah. heard that shit hurt. You never a lot. had like a cut like right under your nail? That shit hurts pretty bad. That yeah. shit hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> Damn. I mean they start ripping my fingernails. Do fingernails grow back? They do, right? Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah. I mean, fingernails yeah. grow yeah. back. I mean, yeah, But if they cut the whole digit off, that's not growing back. You're chopped. <laughs> but you give me one hand. So that means that's that's one hour, two hour, what? Three, four, five. I mean, uh, 30 minutes, an hour. What is this, Saw? Like, why are they torturing every me? every 30 minutes, they're going to, that you don't say anything, they're going to cut off a digit. That's 30 minutes, an hour, an hour all 30, right. that finger's gone. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to start asking questions before they start doing all that. You don't, you're not in a position to I'm ask gonna questions. I'm going to be like, I mean, yes, I am. I'm going to let the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, what are y'all going to do when y'all get there? They, uh, have you never seen any movie ever? The person getting tortured has no right to ask questions. I they just don't, need, they're not gonna answer. In nothing. my good conscience, I just need to know what they're gonna do. If they're willing to do this to you for just no information, what the fuck do you think they're gonna do to me? I mean, I mean, <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is it. I mean, oh man, what the world? I mean, the fuck. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, if it was me, let me see. You're I mean, the one who hit the fucking sun, right? 
Yeah, but I'm flipping the scenario now. now. You're the one who hit it, and it's me. Now I'm trying to see how long would I, oh, how long would I go okay. without, without, uh, without telling my mom. Mm. If it was a fingernail thing, I'll give you both hands. Okay. But if it's the digit, I'll give you one hand. All right, bet. I'll that's, be, I'll be fair. a nub. That's fair. Yeah. One hand. One hand. But if it's a fingernail, both hands. Okay. So it was just to be clear, you're saying one hand and you're telling him. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, and then you're like, hey, that should have been <laughs> enough time for him to forget his shit together. I, mean, I didn't hit the nigga. He did. I mean, at that at that point, you should know something ain't right, you know? I guess, yeah. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. I got one last scenario for you, and then we'll jump straight into the topic of the day. So the scenario is, let's say you were dating somebody, right? All right. And from, of course, you guys are friends for a little bit okay. before y'all start being official. All right. And you tell her from off rip, I don't fuck with this. Whatever this is, just keep it in your head. I don't fuck with A. Okay. I don't like people that do it. I don't agree with it. I will never do it in my life. Okay. And then a year passes. And now, and then you find out that the one thing you told this girl, I don't like it. I don't fuck with it. She's not only done it before, but she's been doing it. But you, now you love her because you've been together for a year. Are you going to break up with her because she's going against what you believe in? Or do you stay with her because you have feelings for her? You know, Strong feelings at this point. You know what? It honestly depends. It, it's it's got to be a very specific thing. It honestly depends on, like, what she's doing, you know? You got to take that into consideration. And you also have to think about how much that weighs on you, like, personally. Like, is it something you can't look past or is it something you, you know, can learn to look past because of that person? You know, for example, let's say she was cheating. But I can't stand cheaters. What if she was cheating the whole year? Then, yeah, hell yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gone. No question. Asked. Like, the hell? I'm out of there. But if it was something like, I don't know, using my toothbrush or some shit, I mean, yeah, I guess I will. But I'm gone regardless. Here's why. If I tell you from day one, let's let's say, okay, April, <clears throat> April 15th, mm-hmm. start dating somebody. <clears throat> and I'm like, I don't fuck with slapping babies or slapping children. Okay. I'm just, this first thing I pop up, I don't fuck with people that slap children. Yeah. April 15th, 2024, fast forward. And I find out since the day we, I told you, you been slapping babies, I'm gone. Because it, I can't do anything about what you did before we started dating. Mm-hmm. If you stopped the baby before you even knew I existed, okay, it sucks, but <laughs> I can't, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 But you knew I didn't like it, and you still slap babies after, I'm done. All right. Because that's a respect thing. All right, how about this? How, how how often are you reminding me you don't like this certain thing? Is it, is it only one if time? If you really like me, do I have to remind you all the time? It should just be up there. I mean, yes, but you know... <laughs> Like I said, it matters what it is. If you t- yeah. if it's like I'm drinking your orange juice, uh, even that'll get old. You drink my orange juice for a year straight, like obviously you don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> my orange juice needs, you just don't care. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's a yeah. respect. You know, yeah. I have a yeah. I feel like yeah. I mean, to me, it still just comes down to what it exactly is. Because if if you're with a person for a year, you're pretty serious at that point, right? You yeah. know. Yeah. Y'all been uh, spent a whole three six five together. That's true. Y'all started, you know, imagining a future together type mm-hmm. shit. So I don't know, man. Is that future? Is that potential future worth looking past this one thing, or is it not worth looking past this one thing? That's true, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments for <clears throat> all the scenarios. If you think that. Look at whoever you have in your life. If it's your best friend, how long, and you had the same scenario by hitting a mobster's son, would you last? How long would you last before you squeal? If somebody, if you were dating somebody <clears throat> and you told them you don't like it, and then they started doing it, even after you told them they don't like it, and they dated for a year straight, secretly, by the way, because you don't, you find out a year Ooh, later. Ooh, that's that's another thing. Secret. Yeah. Well, I mean. And if you were an Uber driver and a poor 
defenseless, or maybe she's not defenseless. She could have killed somebody. But uh, <laughs> a woman runs into your, your car, tells you to drive, and a bunch of guys come out right after her and surround your car. Are you driving off or are you letting her out? Remember, no judgment here. Whatever you guys say, we will read the comments. We will discuss it in the next video. Let's see what you guys think. Let us know what you guys think as far as it. Yeah, don't let us down. You guys haven't let us down yet. I know you won't let us down this time. But, you know, vote for my side this time because... I don't know. These votes seem kind of. I told y'all the last video. He needs one. He needs a. I don't know. He needs a dub. I, I'm just thinking common sense. You know, being sensical type shit. You know, common sense would let it go. Wait, which, which, which scenario are you talking about? I'm just. I'm. I'm talking about this scenario. Yeah, common sense. You talking about the Uber driver? Yeah. Common sense would be to let it go. Or, if these bunch of guys are don't give a fuck about life enough to come surround you, you think if you drive out, they're just gonna be oh dang, we lost them. They're gonna follow you, and now they're gonna kill you. Well, Actually, no, no, no. Why are they shit. killing me? Why are they yeah, killing me? The they're gonna kill you I'm regardless. Just overdrive. They're gonna kill you regardless. No witnesses. Oh, oh now they're gonna kill you regardless. <laughs> no witnesses. Well, then I'm gonna lock in the fucking car. <laughs> and then you're driving out. So you're gonna fight for your life. No, if, they, if, if I'm if I'm dying regardless, then I'm just gonna unlock the car. I'm not gonna put my life in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what y'all think in the comments. All right, Eli. So. When it comes to loyalty, how far would you go to stay loyal to somebody? Oh, my loyalty knows no bounds. So if somebody, I actually will flip it. It's kind of like the last scenario I gave you, but if I did something outlandish to break your trust, are you Ooh. then going to be like, the homie, you're out? Or Nah. Nah, my dumb ass going to still be loyal. <laughs> my <laughs> dumb ass. <laughs> I mean, I would never do that. Honestly. But I'm just saying. I know you would. Yeah. yeah. No. But you know what's funny? There's something I never told you ever because it ne ended up working in our favor. But me and Eli are super loyal to the point where our senior year, there were a bunch of seniors that are in our travel soccer team. Okay. There were a bunch of seniors. Remember Danny and them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They were making their own soccer team full yeah. of just seniors. And they asked us, uh -huh. do you guys want to join our team? And we didn't. Right. We stayed with the team we have been with for two years. I remember that. And I, I never told you, like, it, even before, like, the, se the season started. Okay. I never told you. I was like, I always wondered, like, did we pick the right decision? Of course, at the end of the Ooh. season, we realized though they lost, like, every damn Oh, game. yeah, yeah, So we yeah, were like, hell, did. yeah, we picked the right But they in did. the moment of, like, the first two games, I'm like, dang, did we, were we too loyal to this team? Like, or should we have gone with, not yeah. necessarily our friends, but should we have, because like, Danny... Was our friend? There was a yeah. couple of them that are our friends, but like, right. um, just to give you guys the background, we have a, a friend um, named Danny. He has been on our team every now and then during, throughout high school, and that man was a beast. Too. He was. He yeah, he was. I don't, Danny. I know you don't play soccer no more. You make beats now. But um, <laughs> he was a senior. Year. He was like, hey, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna break from this team. I'm gonna make my own team. I will. I want you guys to join me. And he gave us, he didn't give us like a deadline, but I knew soccer season was starting, so we basically had one without having one. And Eli immediately answers like, no. It took me some time. I'm an overthinker, so I was like, uh, should we? I would like to still play with Danny, but should I leave this team that we've been with for two plus years? As you guys already heard, we ended up staying with the team. We had a great season. We played yep. Danny's team, and we tied them 3-3. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But the good. first couple seasons, I was like, I mean, the first couple games, I was like, did we make the right decision? Should we have, th did we stay too loyal to a team that we're about to graduate and then they're still going to go? Because some of them were juniors when we were seniors, you know what I mean? So See, in my head, like, it, was, it wasn't even a question. Because... So another scenario is lacrosse. So for those of y'all that know us from back back of days, back in the day, uh, Eli and I played lacrosse in high school. Uh, Eli actually put me on to lacrosse. It wasn't until my junior year or our junior year that we start. I started playing lacrosse. Eli had already played sophomore year, right? And right. Freshman or just sophomore? Uh, it was just sophomore year. I actually was also in ROTC. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that was a very short. <laughs> oh, <ROTC>. man. <laughs> oh, bro. We'll, we'll tell that story <laughs> another podcast. But, For, oh, yeah. ROTC days, Eli was somewhat, something else. Even, But we played lacrosse. And I'm not gonna lie, like we weren't the team itself wasn't amazing, but I enjoyed it. Like yeah, lacrosse is a whole. It was like a, you know, for me playing soccer, 
my whole life. It was like lacrosse was a different pace, you know. Um, and I remember senior year, Eli didn't outright tell me, but he was just like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna play lacrosse." And like and me, even though I liked playing, I was like, it didn't even cross my mind again to even think, "Am I gonna play?" I just knew I wasn't, because the person who got me into it isn't gonna play. So to me, it's like, oh, I guess that was it. I got one year in, it was fun, <laughs> and then I'm out. I didn't even question it. And then I remember uh, one of the, te- you know, at high school, a teacher is always a coach of that specific perspective sport. Yeah. He got a win that we weren't playing, and he was not happy. He was like, what? Y'all aren't playing this year? What's going on? Oh, yeah. And it was just no brainer for me. I was like, hey, in my head, of course, I was like, hey, if Eli changes his mind, say he's going to join. I got you, but if he's not, I'm not. And the lacrosse pass is still in my mom's room. Uh, my mom's room. It's still in my mom's house. <laughs> and the stick is somewhere in, in my house and the, all that stuff. But I haven't touched mm-hmm. lacrosse since. It's just like, hey, it was fun. I did it for a friend. He said he's done playing it. I ha- I wouldn't have ever played it if it wasn't for him. So I'm out. Yep, pretty I'm simple. Out. I mean, it, it was fun, but like I just didn't see myself playing it outside of high school. So I was like, mm-hmm. eh understandable there was a but to go back to the loyalty for overall how like what what are your what is your criteria for loyalty is it I've known this person for X amount of years or we've experienced this together or I respect them like at what point do you be like okay I'm loyal to the homo but I'm not loyal to you like what are your if you had to have, come up with like three things, real quick. Uh, three things for my loyalty. It's definitely gonna be like time. That's just gonna be a given. That's just gonna because I'm not about to be super loyal to somebody I met like for a week. But you know, like, but you gonna let you gonna drive off with the Uber girl? You didn't met her five seconds ago. That ain't loyalty. That's just <laughs> I ain't loyal to her. I'm oh, just, you're right. You're right. You're I'm right. just trying to get her out of a sticky situation. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're right. You're right. But, uh, yeah, loyalty definitely comes with time, you know, unless you're just, like, a super gullible person or whatever. Uh, Two, it would have to be trust. Trust definitely falls into there. Like, can I trust you with certain things? Can I tell you certain things? uh, And uh, what else? Number three, I guess, like, do you trust me, I guess, type shit. Okay, fair enough. There's one thing that comes with loyalty for me is, it's going to sound weird, but let me explain. One thing that comes with loyalty for me is respect. And what I mean by respect is, like, I, in the friendship is, like, I can... I want you to be able to come to me as a friend. If I fucked up, come to me as a friend. Be like, D, I'm with you. You're my boy. But what you just did was fucked up. I don't judge you for it. You, what's done is done. You can't go back and change it. But you just fucked up real bad. And that's what, of course, in our podcast, we're going to talk a lot about our experience, our experiences. Eli's done that to me a couple times. And one, or most of them, I'm not, funny enough, is like been in the adult life. Like, when we were in our younger 20s, I was just doing all types of stuff, and Eli was like, yeah, like, I don't know about that one, or why, like, he'll ask me, like, why'd you do that? Because he'll be like, okay, let me see where you were thinking with that. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh, this is why I did it, or I wasn't thinking, or just, I just felt something emotionally in the moment, so I did it, and he was like, yeah, you were asked for that, like, don't do that again, or I wouldn't have done that, or here's how you should fix it, or try to fix it, and shit, so. To me, it's like, if I can respect you as, not just a human, er, ob, er, obviously everybody should be respected as a human, but if I can respect you as a friend to come to me and tell me, because it's not easy. Those are hard conversations oh, to yeah. tell somebody that was stupid or that was dumb. But if you can respect me enough to come to me and not belittle me and be like, dude, you fucked up. That was stupid as fuck. Then, yeah. Time is like, eh. Time is important, but it's not like a big one, a big three for me, because it's like, I can know you, I can know somebody for two months, but I can have gained respect for you in those two months more than I know somebody for five years and I don't respect them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So time is big, but it's not my big three. So it's respect for me. Um, just 
the your overall character. Like, I don't like the friends that switch up in front of everybody. You know, like, we're, we'll be doing something here, and we're calm and cool, and then we get in front of another group of friends, and you're, like, acting all different and shit, like. Oh, yeah. Then it's like okay, then was the real was the real you right here? Or is this the real you? I don't have time to be thinking about all that stuff. Maybe back in high school because everybody was still trying to figure out who they were. But so character, respect, and just overall, my number three would be probably. Damn, I guess time. Because <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I mean, yeah, time is gonna come with all that stuff. I yeah, mean, if time, you respect yeah. these people, if you if you like them as a person, like you're gonna spend more time with them. The weeks are gonna go by, months, years. And it's all in one. Yeah, true, true, true. Big stuff, guys. What what are your bounds for loyalty? What are your big three? What do you need from somebody for you to start being like, you know what? Not only do I see you as an acquaintance or a friend, but I'm actually going to be loyal to you. And just let us know in the comments. Let us know what you're right. Eli. Question of the week. This question of the week is, would you rather go through an alien invasion alone? Uh-huh. Or go through a zombie apocalypse with your family, whoever you consider fan. doesn't have to be blood. Mm -hmm. But you see them die in front of you. Damn. In turn. Damn. In front of you. What you picking? Like, everybody. Everybody. One, it could be one at a time. It could be all as a group. Sheesh. But everybody, you literally watch them die. Do I turn into a zombie in the Nope. End? You're the lone survivor. Lone survivor, eh? It's got a nice ring to it. It do. But I'm going to have to go with surviving an alien invasion solo dolo. And once again, we are on opposite sides. Opposite sides? Yep. Why do you pick solo dolo, though? Because I don't have to watch anybody I know. Um, suffer and meet their demise and at the same time I feel like I can honestly handle an alien invasion solo dolo if I'm properly equipped I have a great strategy and I know like how to how much time do you think they're going to give you to strategize I don't need a lot of you time you get beamed up and you have that 50 seconds it takes you why to am I getting beamed up you said an alien invasion as in they're coming to earth Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about it like that. I meant like abduction. But either way, you're right, you're right, you're right. Right. Invasion, go ahead. So if they come to Earth, I'll properly equip myself, make a proper strategy, and execute it. Easy breezy. I still pick zombies because although they die in front of me, and I will be sad, I get to at least spend a little bit more time with them. Whether it be two weeks, a month, a little bit more time versus solo, like being by myself. I don't know. I'm out here not only trying to fight for my life. I don't know how they're doing. I'm sure all the communication lines are cut because who the fuck is gonna be texting and shit while the alien invasion is going on. So it's like, so instead of worrying about them, I mean, instead of doing this all by myself, worried about oh, are they alive in Lawrenceville and all that. I'm like, okay, at least we're all here together. And unfortunately, we get to spend whatever time is because I know y'all gonna die. I don't know y'all gonna die. I know y'all <laughs> in this scenario. Like all y'all gonna die in front of me. I just gotta whatever time we have left, we're gonna have to make it work. So you're gonna be like Michonne from The Walking Dead and have your family oh, the, members as the zombies. two zombies. Oh no. I would kill y'all before y'all come. Like as soon as y'all die, I'll just go ahead. Okay. I can't do the whole that's yeah, she's I don't know. <laughs> I get her grieving thing, but like having them how can seeing them walk around like that in a dead state, it's just ugh. And then, you know, at any point you get in the chin, they will, well, she cut their jaws off, right? Yes, yeah. Like, but like, it's like, I can't do it. I'd rather just know y'all left peacefully before I even turn to zombies and y'all walking around, seeing y'all bodies all. That, that, that is a funny thing. She couldn't stab them in the head, but she could cut their jaws off. Yeah. It's crazy. She has an interesting mind. Crazy, crazy. So you say alien invasion. I say... Zombie land. So let us know in the Zombie comments. Land. Let us know in the comments what y'all think. If you are a team alien invasion, go ahead and comment team alien invasion. If you're a team zombie land, go ahead and comment team zombie land. If you are a part of our Instagram, which is at the Squabble Podcast, the polls for these go out every single Saturday. The questions go out every single Saturday. So the question is 
gone because by the time this question comes out, by the time this video comes out, the question's already gone. But just know every Saturday we're going to put out the question of the week. Go ahead and vote. Be part of the squabblers. The squabble team is getting bigger and bigger. So let us know what you guys think. And we will discuss it with y'all next video. For sure. All right, y'all. Make sure you guys keep your minds open and your volumes turned up.